I get to explore a uh, very exciting character, tragically brilliant, uh, schizophrenic, uh, very multifaceted, lots of levels, lots of uh, layers like an onion the wonderful uh, character that is Zelda Fitzgerald, better known, of course, as Mrs. F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I think that was her biggest hang-up, that she was Mrs. F. Scott Fitzgerald. I was that little fish that swam about underneath a shark and lived indelicately on its refuse. So it was. Life passed over me like a vast black shadow. And I swallowed with relish whatever it dropped. She was searching through most of her life for her own identity and ultimately found it through her creative geniuses, painting, writing, dancing. Uh, sadly, however, uh, she was confined to uh, sanitariums in the, the North Carolina region for the last uh, 10 years of her life. This is a magnificent play. It's about a child woman, Zelda Fitzgerald, and it runs the gamut of emotions. As an actor, you would live for this play. You get to be sad, you get to be happy, you get to be depressed, you get... Any emotion you can think of is in this play. And I would have to say, it's not the usual sentimental pap that's connected with Zelda Fitzgerald in the Fitzgerald legend. This is a real person. This woman lived and breathed, and if you see this show, you'll watch Tina make this woman come alive.